Rickwood Caverns State Park. That's the entrance right up there. And you come on in here and go on up to the main office, which is right behind that tree. We'll get some pictures of the place for you, and then you come right down that way on into the campsites. So there's number one, which is pretty short and uphill. In the back, it's got some uh, one and two are probably not your best bets. Three, four, now five is right in by that table. And then this big old bus came in last night. That's number six. And seven isn't too bad right back there. That's not too bad, but it does go up in the back. Now we're in number eight. This is a nice wide spot, uh, very wide. And we're in a 2109S. I'm not quite back to the back, so you could get a 30-footer in here fairly easily. And the camp host is back over in another one. Now it says this is spot number nine, so this is a pull through, but boy, you talk about uneven. This is uh, really not a very good spot. You'd have your back wheels back over there and your front wheels down here. And then uh, the camp host is in number 12. And uh, that must be 10. I'm not sure where 11 is. 8, 9, nine. hmm. I don't know. And 13 is over there somewhere. I'm not sure how that's marked off. That's it. 13 spots here. And uh, we had rain last night, so when we got in. And uh, anyway, we're going to do the caverns. It's $13 for seniors. And uh, looks like it should be a nice day today. Finally getting some sun. It's been cloudy for a while. So this uh, is a very small little park. You want to be selective on your sights. Looks like uh, 6, 7, and 8 are your best, are the best ones. No doubt about it. Um, wow. Small place, but they do have primitive camping. Where at down there? I am not sure or how many. Well, while I'm down here, I thought I'd go ahead and check the bathrooms. Um, I'm going to take a shower, so we'll see what that's like. And uh, nothing fancy. A couple of, couple of stools, one urinal. But uh, they are very nice and clean. Stainless steel. So let's check out the uh, shower. Well, uh, two of the shower doors there don't close for some reason. They're metal doors. I'm not sure what's going on. And the shower is rather basic, but I don't think they've cleaned them for a while. The other one down on that end, the far end, is more yucky than this one. So, um, I think I'll pass on the shower. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I haven't been here cleaning for a while. Too yucky. Okay, well, that was a fail. Uh, this is uh, the entrance up here. It's where you come in. And then comes on down here probably some housing for the uh, staff. The gift shop and parker up there. Uh, or a big parking lot for people that uh, go to the caverns and they have a big pool over here, nice pool and a big covered pavilion and went on down this way, sorry for the shaking, forgot to bring my tripod there's your campground right down there, all 13 sites there is primitive camping here, too. Okay, I've kind of got it figured out. That is uh, actually where the camp host is parked right there, is site 11. Right in front of it, they'd have to back in right up next to this guy in 11. That's 12. And then 13's that slanted one over there. And as you come on down, they have to actually drive right past his spot. 
and there's a road that comes uh, on down this way. <clears throat> Pretty rough. <laughs> You're not bringing a camper down here. This is this is primitive camping and tent camping. Um, site 14 is right there, and then 15 is up there. 15 and 16. 15 is up there. 16 over here, 17 and 18. So it flattens out a little down here, but you'd have to drive up there. I see there's water standing. So this is the primitive campground area. If you want to uh, reserve a site for a tent, if you need it, park your camper up here and rent two places, that would work. But uh, yeah, you have to come over, come down this way to get into these spots here. So, finally just kind of figuring out where things are. It sure is pretty in here. This is really quite nice. They cleared it out, but uh, yeah, this is primitive camping, all right. I'll do a little bit of walking around. There's the uh, campground right there. Uh, here's your first site. It runs around that way. We're over in site 8. And um, let's just see what all we got here. So there's a this goes on over to the back, uh, the primitive campground over that way. Just a little path with a cool covered bridge. Some picnicking area here. And then uh, more areas back that way. There's a big old pavilion and the pool's back there. So we'll go see what that's all about. There's the bathrooms over on the left. Let's take a look here. Let's go a little further. Well, here's the uh, pool area. It's a nice big pool. Uh, room for a lot of people. High diving board. Got the deep end here. Let me get the slide. Oh, it's a shame this year it just got totally wiped out. Oh. There's the uh, park office up there in the gift shop. So I'm going to go up there and check on times for the tour. And then uh, this is a nice big pavilion. Huge. There's a group picnic area back over in that area, too. That's what that was that I saw. Okay, up here at the gift shop and the office. Made a reservation to go on the cavern tour tomorrow. And they do have uh, refreshments here. Looks like ice cream. Uh, a few goodies, slushes back there, drinks, chips. Nothing real fancy. Coffee, maybe. Nachos and chilies. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. So that is the inside. Now I'm up here at the uh, parking area for the caverns, and they have a nice big playground up here. Well, pretty big. A couple of slides. All right. And uh, there's a trail going off that way, so I'm wondering if that is the trail to go hiking. I'm sure the entrance is probably over there too so we'll check that out and we'll go see what it is all about so I'm up here um, right by the campground office and uh, there's a yellow sign here it says caution something but anyway right by the flagpole here there's some steps coming up and uh, this leads on up to the uh, one mile loop uh, hiking path up here she said it was a little more steep so I thought I'd go on that. Linda wasn't all that much into it. She didn't sleep real good last night. The rain and all of that with uh, Hurricane Zeta dumping on us a little bit. Well, this is a um, pretty trail. A lot of moss and cleared spots. So it's easy enough to walk around. You're not going to get up here with a wheelchair, obviously. Or maybe even a cane. I guess there's room to move. You could move around through here. But she did say it was more an elevation. So we shall see. Now it did say on here. Caution cavern area. So I was walking along here. And I noticed this, this side area here. So that does. In fact. Go down there. A long way can't see the bottom so that may be one of the entrance points into the caverns hmm
yep, back to where it was started. So I watched for snakes just in case. And uh, go to the left and head on around. You'll see yellow markings on the trees, on the rocks. Kind of taking your way. A lot of it is common sense. You'll come back right out there. So a very pretty hike. I recommend it. The rock formations are really cool. And our wonderful guide so here. Was it discovered? Uh, so the cave was discovered about 1888. Um, there was a guy named Mr. Burns who he didn't know that there was a cave on this property. I think he was after a rabbit hunting. He was the owner. And all of a sudden his dog went in this hole and he went in after the dog. And sure enough, here they were. Alrighty, I'm going to wrap it up here at Rickwood Caverns State Park. And uh, the caverns were cool. So $13 for adults uh, to go through. I think campers get that rate too. So if you do come, um, hit the hit the caverns. They were really cool. People were really nice. We had a uh, we were the only two on the tour, so worked out great. Um, the campground filled up this weekend, all but one site. So 12 here, plus um, two or three. Uh, primitive campers. And they were back over, back over behind me, back there. Kind of noisy down there at the camp. So uh, there's about four or five little kiddos running around. They're having a ball. <laughs> I bet they froze last night. They slept in a tent. So anyway, great park. I I think you'll really enjoy it. In fact, I know you will if you come. Um, it's uh, water and electricity, and there is a dump on the way out. But it is a really great site. Loved that trail. Loved that trail. I wish I could have done it again. So we're heading out to Toshimingo State Park, I think it's called. Um, making our way back to Colorado for Thanksgiving, hopefully, if the weather holds out. All right, you guys have a great time out there. Be safe, and maybe we'll see you on the road.